Bring in Elizabeth Pip, co-founder of Lest People Forget, and Nicole Neely, president and founder of Parents Defending Education. Welcome to you both. I want to pick up where Bill left off. In fact, I want to play that soundbite, Elizabeth, again from that NYU student saying this to Alexis McAdams. Watch and listen. Do you think NYU is doing enough to make Jewish students feel safe on campus? Absolutely not. I mean, NYU is all about inclusivity and diversity until it comes to its Jewish students. Until it comes to Jewish students, Elizabeth. Yeah, look, I could not agree with her more. Um, it saddens me to think that I was a student in graduate school just a few months ago. I could not imagine being on campus and witnessing something like this. I cannot imagine how these students are feeling. To be honest, my heart breaks for them. But it also breaks for these other students who are tearing down these photos of kidnapped children who are screaming profanities, who are siding with Hamas. These people have been completely brainwashed. They are so misguided. And I do not think they have any idea what this means for their future, what it means for our society's future. But I can not understand what has gone on in their lives in the last few years, mm -hmm. and I think parents have to dive very deep into these academic institutions, yep. find out what their kids are being taught, and put a stop to it immediately. Yeah, we, it's not just colleges either. Bill Malugin just told you. It's also in the high schools, as your team found out here, Nicole, because Parents Defending Education, we're talking about Santa Ana Schools, Ethnic Studies, World History Course Outline, quoting here, Santa Ana Unified School District, Ethnic Studies, Courses, Hail, Artivism, Artivism Exploration of Eurocentrism, blames Israel for ethnic cleansing, accuses Israel of U.N. war crimes, and refers to Israelis as extremist, illegal Jewish settler population. Your thoughts? It's frightening because the hatred that we're seeing on college campuses is taught. This is not innate. And we're seeing these... These ideas come into school through programs like Black Lives Matter at school, which obviously is a very strong supporter of Hamas these days. Um, we've seen teachers unions pushing BDS resolutions across the country for many years. And then this latest problem, ethnic studies, being pushed through the liberated ethnic studies curriculum is extremely anti-Semitic. Again, the fact that Santa Ana has mm -hmm. already been sued for adopting this curriculum. Uh, this is not stopping in California. What starts there doesn't end there. It's already metastasizing eastward toward places like Minnesota. This is something yep. that everyone should keep an eye on because because it is teaching people, you know, students to pit themselves against each other. Going around the world, I've got a minute left. I'd like you both to respond. But to you first, Elizabeth, you pointed out in Australia, when you talk about metastasizing, they were not just chanting gas the Israelis. They were chanting gas the Jews. Yeah, exactly. Look, I've heard for years, I'm sure you've heard the same thing, anti-Zionism does not equal anti-Semitism. However, when Israel's in a war, where do they protest? In front of a Jewish museum. What do they scream? Gas the Jews. We have known what they meant for years, yeah. and unfortunately, they now are not even scared to show us what it is that they mean. And the same schools that are fighting for safe spaces are celebrating, Nicole, barbaric violence. Final thoughts? Yeah. I it's fascinating to see these students now try and cloak themselves as victims and be upset that they're being held accountable for their vile statements. I think, you know what, there are some opinions that you should be canceled for, and standing with baby murderers is actually one of those. So I, feel, I don't feel bad for them at all. Uh, Nicole Neely, Elizabeth Pimco, thank you both. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.